Most modern day salamanders are minuscule, with a large portion of the hundreds of different species measuring less than eight inches. There are some exceptions, like the Japanese giant salamander, which can reach lengths of five feet. But even the Japanese giant would have been dwarfed by Metoposaurus, a genus of ancient amphibians that could grow to be as much as twice the size of today's biggest salamander. Researchers recently discovered a new species of Metoposaur, Metoposaurus algarvensis, in the Algarve region of southern Portugal on the Atlantic coast. To get an idea of how imposing the 200 million year old giant predator would have been, just listen to this description from lead researcher Steve Brusati. He said, It looks like something out of a bad monster movie. It was as long as a small car and had hundreds of sharp teeth in its big flat head, which kind of looks like a toilet seat when the jaws snap shut. Alright, so the toilet seat bit isn't super intimidating, but nonetheless, the amphibian would have filled a crocodile-like niche and could have preyed on dinosaurs that strayed too close to the water. While metoposaurs have been found all over the globe, this represents the first species found on the Iberian Peninsula, and it joins two other European species. The researchers believe the fossils they've discovered could be part of a mass grave that developed when the lake the animals lived in dried up, something which wouldn't be uncharacteristic, as paleontologist Larry Reinhardt explains. They are often found in large deposits, which leads us to believe that they were gregarious for some reason, feeding or breeding or uh, not quite sure what, but uh, we have some clues. The paper notes similar sites have been found in Africa and North America. Metoposaurus thought to have died out in the late Triassic. For Newsy, I'm Sebastian Martinez.